guys, welcome back to my Friday Faves and Fails. The biggest fail this week um, would be, I have sat out in the garden, I mean, I think by the time you see this, the weather is gonna have got a little bit darker, possibly it's gonna rain, honestly, I'm ready for it, but um, over the past week or so, it's been super hot, kind of holiday weather, and I have, fallen into the trap of going outside a little bit more often. I was working in the garden a little bit. I did my brother's garden makeover, so that was a full day in the sun. Um, and there were a couple of times that I didn't wear SPF on my body, always on my face, but I didn't wear it on my body. And then there was one day when I thought I'd been so smart and I slathered my entire body in SPF 50 and I still burned. And I realized later that that was probably too old. And truthfully, I think I knew that and I was just quite literally playing with fire. So the biggest fail has been my sun protection the past couple of weeks. Um, I can only blame myself. And as strongly as I feel about anti-aging and <laughs> trying to keep my skin as even and clear as possible, I'm usually pretty good at SPF face to chest. My chest peeled this past week. Oh my goodness. It was like scary. So that would be my, my biggest fail. Don't do that. Do better than I did. And I quickly want to run through some of the makeup stuff that I've been really enjoying this past week. Some of the stuff I showed you in um, Wednesday's video, which was basically a recreation of an Instagram makeup look that I shared from last Saturday's date night, which was a big deal because it was the first one of 2021. Um, Vista Liberata, if we're talking about sun protection and you want a tan, try this. Especially if you're not into fake tans like me, I don't like the smell, I don't enjoy the application, it's all such a complete ball ache, and I don't, I just don't like it. If you want a little bit of colour to go somewhere to do something, you want to kind of have a little bit more um, confidence in, especially like legs. I think that that's the thing. I'm not really ever bothered about like my upper body, although it needs to match, um, but I always feel like I just like a little bit more, more confidence with my legs, and that's when body makeup is amazing. It's not necessary, all power to you if you don't care. Sometimes I don't care. I posted a video the other day, full cellulite, and I was watching it thinking, sure, and I thought, you know, it's just what my legs look like. Let's just make peace with it. Um, but if I'm kind of dressing up and I want to feel polished and I've put makeup on and I've, you know, made an effort, it's nice to polish some other areas as well. I really love this. I'm actually wearing this on my face today mixed in with my foundation. Um, it's much like the Sally Hansen, what were they called? Sally Hansen legs, instant legs, something, magic legs, you know, the spray stuff. Kind of like that. The difference being this is more like um, a cream. You can mix it in with um, moisturiser if you would like. And it does something. It's not like a regular body makeup. It's more like a sheen and like a soft focus something. So if you put this on part of you, but you don't put it on everywhere, you're not going to necessarily know. Like you could just put it kind of like upper arms um, and chest and it's just kind of a little bit of something. Whereas with other body makeups, I feel like you have to do everywhere. Otherwise it's quite obvious. It's like doing to here with your face makeup. You've got a def definitive like line. It's not like that. I definitely think this is worth the money because I've, I've tried other things and I don't like them as much. Um, also, this lip gloss, which is a rediscovery. This is the Urban Decay High Shine Obsessed Lip Gloss. I love the colour anyway, but the smell though. The smell is amazing. I've gone for like a, a 90s lip liner and pale lip vibe today and I'm feeling it. I don't even know if you can still get this. I often talk about things in Friday Faves and Fails and then I come to link to things and I'm like... That went out of stock three years ago. How old is this product? I'm taking you downstairs because I can't sit here any longer. I just filmed two other videos in that spot and I'm like, I need to get up. I am so achy today from um, moving things around in the garden all day yesterday. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna seize up if I stay there any longer. Let's talk about this hat that I thought was crazy. I was not like, you know, I want, I want to be a hat person. And so I got this hat from FabFitFun. And I got it specifically for sunbathing. So again, sun protection, yada yada, sit in the garden, put on my hat, protect my face, most important. Um, and I got it and thought, well, you know, it'll be fine for just being in the, I love it. 
I love this hat so much. I haven't actually worn it out of the house yet. I still feel a little silly, but I really, really like it. And maybe I'll finally pluck up the courage to wear it. Someone told me that there was a pull inside that tightened up the hat, which definitely made a big difference because now it's not like wobbly on my head. As I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, you look like a right dickhead. But can we push past it? I want to share some wine that I'm really enjoying, but I don't have it because they delivered the wrong one. It's this brand, but it's the Cabernet Sauvignon that I really, really like. Um, very, I feel like red wine is not the season for red wine, but I'm really enjoying a glass of red wine of an evening. And that one in the Cabernet Sauvignon is amazing. The Merlot that they have delivered is fine, but it's not my favorite. And I have tons of products to talk about this week. And I've saved a big chunk of this video, a large portion of this video, just to discuss one thing. Bo Burnham inside. Have you seen it yet? I am that person who, on many, many occasions, has forced other people to watch things that they are not interested in. I know this about myself, I see it in my dad, and I see it in my son, and it's really irritating in other people, and yet I can't stop. That's why this is so great, because in theory, you are receptive to my recommendations. And I like to think they're, they're good. I like to think I don't recommend things that aren't good, but I am particularly aware on this particular occasion that I think there's one thing that you need to like in order to like this, and that is musicals. It's a comedy, it's dark, it's very raw. It is um, one guy who you may or may not already be familiar with. He's got other specials that I have massively enjoyed, but he hasn't been doing anything for several years. Um, so one guy, over the course of uh, the pandemic, so like over the 12 month period where he was in lockdown, um, created this special totally alone in one room and it goes through multiple issues that people have experienced, um, a roller coaster of mental health and it's the funniest, cleverest, most insightful thing I have seen in a really, really long time. So far, the feedback that I've had from people that I've suggested should watch it. It's been, it, I've not had any, anyone say they didn't like it. Um, even Lee, who's not into musicals at all and didn't particularly like Bo Burnham when I showed him in before, was receptive. He's not, I'm like obsessed. I'm listening to the album constantly. I'm starting to irritate him at this point, but he was open to it. Um, mostly the people who've come back and said, this is like life-changingly good are people who quite like theatre. Um, they quite like musical stuff anyway. And so I'm just going to preface that recommendation. It's absolutely phenomenal. I don't think that I can overstate it. I don't think that that is going to, there's no way that I'm going to oversell how great this is if it's for you. But if you are really not into musical stuff, like if you even don't like the like SNL sketches that are musical, it's probably not for you. But it's just so clever. By the end of it, I felt like I'd been to the theatre. And I'm not a massive theatre goer. The main reason I don't like the theatre is that I can't immediately watch it again. Because I feel so drawn in by um, musical shows that I immediately want to watch. I'm like, it's like listening to an album and then someone taking it away and saying, well, you'll need to pay another £80 and listen to it from a distance. That's what doesn't appeal to me about. It's the live performance part of it. Um, that's what doesn't appeal to me about theatre in general. That's why I haven't seen that many shows because I get that instant connection and then it's like far away from me. Whereas something like this, I can watch this a million times. I can watch it till I get bored of it. And I just don't think that's ever going to happen. And honestly, that is my main Friday fave. I watch it. If, you, if enough people watch it, we'll do a little live just talking about this because I loved it so much. And if you've already watched it, Let's discuss in the comments. Right, I'm going to go because um, I really don't have that many things to talk about this week. And that that is all I want to talk about is inside. So let's work on that. Watch it and we'll chat. <laughs>